Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Today, we're taking a look at ShoeTube.tv, a new video website focused tightly on the fact that shoe fashion is big business. Like its name suggests, ShoeTube incorporates user-generated video stories about shoes. It weaves us together with professionally produced video features about shoe fashions and the adventures of shoe enthusiasts. One current story follows a ShoeTube reporter who has flown to Las Vegas to investigate the specialty footgear worn by casino showgirls. Well, thank you so much. This has been so cool. And evidently, my headdress is only three pounds, even though it feels like 40. And yours, because there's five pounds of rhinestones, is a total of 10. It's about 10 pounds, but you're doing great. So I'm going to try the ultimate task today that they have taught me, and that's the walk down the stairs in the fabulous Leduca shoes. Another feature is called the Daily Shoe. And now for my personal moment of zen, the shoe of the day, brought to you by ShoesOnAShoestring.com. This is the Sheila by Bear Traps in White. There's also Shop Till You Drop, a series of stories exploring the world's most exotic shoe stores. We are here to lay our eyes on some of the most beautifully designed shoes that ShoeTube has ever seen. I'm going in. Advertisers are trying this on for size. For instance, one big shoe tube project in the works will feature Nine West's fall line of boots. Happy Earth Day! <laughs> Times Square, that massive carbon footprint of enormous signage at the center of Manhattan, was the site of an Earth Day event yesterday. It was staged by Keep America Beautiful, a national volunteer organization. That group is supported by Dow Chemical, Honda, Scott's miracle Grow, the rubber manufacturers of America, and a raft of other corporations that have pronounced themselves keen on green. The highlight of the midday event was the takeover of a number of Times Square's electric signs. What excited it was with multiple images of the organization's logo burning brightly into the sunlit afternoon. Happy Earth Day, indeed it was in Times Square. Elsewhere, and in an unusual step, the U.S. Navy has declined to renew its advertising account with the Campbell Ewald Agency. The Warren, Michigan shop has had the account for the last eight years and expected to keep it for two more under its current contract. The creative work of its long-running Accelerate Your Life campaign has been widely praised, but the Navy cited its increasing difficulties in recruiting. It said it needed to reach a younger generation in ways not covered in the Campbell Ewald agreement. The Navy is expanding the scope of its advertising strategies to include social networking programs and new forms of digital media favored by today's teens. When it was awarded, the Camel Ewald contract was valued at roughly $92 million a year. And that's it for this 3-Minute Ad Age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.